Mud Ducks may not sound like a powerhouse name for a group of hockey players, but in Cottage Grove, the Mud Ducks are proving mighty in a very special way. Kara Levin's Boyd Hooper gives us a look at an unusually warm friendship on ice. All right, ready? There you go. Alone is not the best way we got one. to play hockey. That's a hit. But when Dad's not around, it is Matt Jenkins. I got him. Default. Nonstop. Denise and Morgan. That's daily. Say hockey is everything to their son. Ooh. During and the winter, out there, it's, it's in the house. Yeah. Need confirmation? Hey, Care Eleven boy, can you hear me in the mic? Perhaps it's best to go straight to Matt. How much do I like hockey? 100%, dude. Matt is unique. When he was born, there was some hintings there. There was a genetic marker that was missing in his uh, chromosomes. Developmentally delayed. That's all they can tell us. Delayed yeah. and delightful. Whatever you do, don't do this at home. Got him. Matt liked his high school years. Game on. And three more spent after graduation in his school district's transition program. That'll count. But when that ended last May. Nothing. After that, here you go. Missing his friends and structure. <laughs> Matt found solace alone at the Cottage Grove Ice Arena during open skate. It was here he then also found mud them, ducks. them, the Mud Ducks, a group of men in their 60s and 70s. It's our coffee clutch. <laughs> who met Matt at the rink. They said, you know, if you want to come at 9 o'clock when we start, you can skate with us. Which is how 74-year-old Don Greenman yeah. and 74-year-old Tom Watt right. ended up skating daily. Come on, bring it, man. With 21-year-old Matt. Nice shot. Don's a good teammate. Huh? You're a good teammate. Oh, thank you, sir. They're his team. This yep. is where it all begins. The team that thought Matt needed better gear then oh, bought it for him. Get those pads on. Including a jersey like theirs. He sets his alarm every day. My duck's on it. Sitting at the front door waiting. That looks good. Just when Matt needed new friends. You look like one of us. He is. He found them. Hey. Three times his age. I'm bringing up the rear. They are everything to him. He comes home and he talks about them. So-and-so wasn't here today. They think he's sick. I hope he's okay. Tom. The Mud Ducks don't play games. They just play. Enjoying hockey. Attaboy. And each other. Oh yeah. It's been a blessing for everybody. When Steve Burnham in the hall. saw how Matt was thriving, Woo. he started bringing his own son, Will, who has autism. Hey, look at that Will going. Now learning to skate. Yeah, brother. And getting encouragement <laughs> from Matt. We're doing good, Will. Good. It just keeps coming. Wow. When the Park High School hockey coach found out about Matt and the Mud Ducks, he's a good kid. He offered Matt a job running the penalty box on game nights. Man, I'm loving this. You know. What do you say? They they let him be who he is and they are Paul. inclusive. Bye, Polly. When we leave, he gives, gives us a hug. There Thanks, you go. Steve. All right. Means a lot. Wisdom born of age. This is life, isn't it? And friends. All right, one, two, three. Born of a flock. Yeah, he's a mud duck. Boyd Hoopert, Carol Evan News. He's a mud duck. He's a mud duck. Cottage Grow. Matt also plays Special Olympics hockey. He has a big tournament coming up in a couple weeks in Stillwater. Some of the mud ducks plan to attend to cheer him on. We should all be so lucky as Boy, to be a no mud kidding. duck. What a great group of people. Fantastic. Ugh. Yeah, and that man that runs at Arena, too, to yeah. give him all those other opportunities yeah. to be there where he wants to be. It's and tremendous. I love Boyd's line, though, delayed and delightful. Delightful. Because that's exactly <laughs> how he seemed. Yeah, awesome. great, great parents, too. All right.